Hi, I'm Huntsville, Alabama criminal defense attorney Andrew Siegel at Siegel and Siegel. Today's topic is what happens when somebody misses court, that is, when they fail to appear for their court date. Typically, when somebody misses court, the judge will issue a warrant for what's called failure to appear. It also can result in additional criminal charges of bail jumping. I don't see that that often, but that is a possibility, and the person could then find themselves facing an additional criminal case. At any rate, if somebody has missed court, there are a number of things that, that typically will happen. If that warrant is executed, then the person can be arrested at work, they might be arrested at home. None of those are, obviously none of those are good things. If you're arrested at work or if you're in jail, it can cost you your job. Uh, the state of Alabama may take the driving privilege of somebody who's missed court. If someone is arrested at home, it can be not only embarrassing, it can certainly be traumatic, particularly if there's children there. Nobody wants those things to happen, at least not the person who's in the hot seat. Fortunately, there are a number of things that a lawyer can do to try to help somebody who's in that situation. And that's part of the purpose of this video is to talk about the ways that we can help someone. If someone has missed court, the smartest thing is to talk to an attorney as quickly as they possibly can. This is one of those situations where the faster you act, the more likely it is that you will get a favorable result. It's not to say that a lawyer can't help you if it's been a while, but the sooner the better on this kind of situation. If somebody has just recently missed court and the judge has not yet issued a warrant for that person's arrest, it may be as simple as the lawyer calling the, either the judge's office or the clerk's office and saying, gee, my client got their times mixed up. Can we have the case recalled at some point, you know, maybe the next day or something like that? And sometimes that can be done. If the judge has already issued an arrest warrant, then the lawyer can ask that the judge withdraw the arrest warrant. And typically, a lawyer will file a motion with the court saying, judge, my client missed court. Here's the reasons and if you would, please, or, or here's the reasons that you ought to reset a bond for my client, and hopefully the judge will listen to those reasons and reset bond. The judge may or may not do so, depending on the facts and circumstances of the case, of course. If the person has already been arrested and they're in jail, or if the judge has denied the motion to withdraw the warrant, that doesn't mean that, that the case is hopeless. There's still things a lawyer can try to do to help the person. One of those things would be the lawyer filing a motion asking that a bond be set. Even though they're in jail, you can still ask for a new bond to be set. Again, up to the judge whether or not they agree with that. If the judge does, then the person would have to post a new bond and they could show up for court. If the judge doesn't, then they're going to be stuck in jail until the time of their court date. If that happens, the best thing the lawyer can do is try to get the case to court as quickly as possible and hopefully reach a favorable resolution for their client. Ideally, of course, we want to try to avoid a conviction for our client or we want to minimize jail time if we can't avoid a conviction. But at any rate, if you or somebody you love has missed court, you really need to talk to an attorney as quickly as possible. Obviously, if you have your own attorney, you need to call them right away. If you're looking to uh, obtain an attorney, you can give us a call at Siegel & Siegel. Our number is 256-533-4529. We're always happy to help. When you call us, any consultation that you have with us, first consultation is free, and anything you say to us is confidential. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.